Hey everybody, Brittany from HeatSpring here. And today I wanna to talk about the HVAC industry. It is booming. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration mechanics and installers is projected to grow 9% from 2023 to 2033. And it's just significantly faster than the average for all occupations. So with this robust, increasing focus on electrification and heat pumps and more efficient HVAC systems, now's a really great time to launch your career in this field. So for aspiring HVAC professionals, one crucial stepping stone is obtaining the EPA 608 Technician Certification. And this certification isn't just a recommendation, it's actually a legal requirement. Under Section 608 of the Clean Air Act, the Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the EPA, mandates that all technicians who might release refrigerants into the atmosphere during their work must be certified. And so this includes activities like maintaining, servicing, repairing, or disposing of refrigerant containing equipment. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about getting your EPA 608 technician certification. Let's go. So who should take this exam? Technicians who are performing any of the following. Attaching and detaching hoses and gauges to and from an appliance to measure pressure within the appliance, adding refrigerant to or removing refrigerant from an appliance, and any other activity that violates the integrity of a motor vehicle air conditioner like appliance or small appliance, other than disposal. Apprentices don't need certifications yet if they're closely supervised by certified technicians. However, you're going to need to prepare for a future certification because it's going to be required eventually. So if you don't get it right this second, you will need to get it in the future, even if you are an apprentice currently. And so let's talk about qualifying for the exam. There are no set requirements to qualify to take the 608 Technician Certification exam, although taking a prep course is recommended. Um, here at HeatSpring, we offer a great one called the EPA 608 Technician Certification Prep Course taught by Bryn Cooksey, who was honored as one of the most influential instructors in this field. And so what's covered on the 608 exam? There's different tests within the 608 exam, and each test is specific to the type of equipment the technicians plan to work on. The EPA has developed four types of 608 technician certifications. Type one is for servicing small appliances. Type two is for servicing or disposing of high or very high pressure appliances, except small appliances and MVACs. Type three is for servicing or disposing of low pressure appliances. And then the final one or the universal one is for servicing all types of equipment. And that basically encompasses all the things that I had previously mentioned. So let's talk about each of the exams within the 608 exam. The first one is the core exam. And this is something that regardless of which type you get, you will be tested on these topics. Looking at type one, we can see this is for small appliances. And here, all the things that are covered on the small appliances exam. Feel free to pause it and look at these things can also find all of this information on the EPA's website. For type two, high pressure, you can see another round of topics broken down by different content areas. And then type three is low pressure and here's what's covered on the low pressure exam. So what can you expect when you're getting your 608 certification? So each of the four sections that we mentioned above, there's core, type one, type two, and type three. Each of those sections contain 25 questions. To become certified, technicians must pass the core section 
plus at least one other section. So type one, type two, or type three. If you pass all the sections, you earn a universal technician status. Most techs challenge all sections and attempt to become universal because that gives them the most flexibility when you're looking at jobs you can take. The certification does require a proctored exam, which is included when students pay their exam fee at HeatSpring. And while there are practice exams within the HeatSpring prep course, they don't count towards the certification exam. So how much is it to take the exam? It costs $125 to take one or more types of the 608 technician certification exams. If your company has multiple people working towards their certification, we can also offer group test taking prices that has multiple people taking the exam at a single location at the same time. Just reach us out to us at support at heatspring.com and we can help answer any questions you might have about taking the exam. If you fail any of the sections, they can be retaken individually, but the full testing fee will apply. And so how can you renew the certification? Luckily, the 608 technician certification does not expire, so there is no need to renew. Still have questions about getting your 608? Send us an email. You can find us at support at heatspring.com. Send us your questions, and we're happy to help as you work on getting your 608 certification. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in class.